Hello, everyone. So starting with this, with this diagram here, with pressure and volume on the axes again, and each one of these, recall, is called an isotherm. It's a constant temperature line that shows the relationship of pressure and volume together on each of these curves. And this is a representative of the van der Waals equation of state. We talked a little bit about the weird behavior in the previous video, but we're going to focus in on one point right here. This is the transition point. This is the point where the behavior switches from having one state to having more than one state. And because this equation holds at all, at all points, then we also know that for the van der Waals equation of state, that PC equals R times TC over VC under bar minus B minus A over VC squared. And so um, we're going to start with this this equation here and identify conditions because ultimately PC, TC, VC, this is a measurable quantity. You can find this with an experiment uh, it, and determine the values uh, for this, which would be nice because then we can get A as a function of TC, PC, VC, and B as a function of TC, uh, PC, and VC. And then if we can just identify where this point is with an experiment, we can then know what our parameters A and B will have to be, so we can predict the behavior in all other regions for this material where we have not yet tested the properties. Uh, so if you recall at that special point that I've circled right here, um, there are two other things that have to be true there. One of them is that the derivative goes to zero. So at this point, del P del V, at the point at constant T, evaluated at TC, PC, uh, VC, has to equal zero. But also, the inflection point, which is on this curve right here, and on this curve it's right here, con uh, uh, converges on to the same exact point as the first derivative. So here, the first derivative and the second derivative end up going uh, to zero. Uh, so this gives us two more equations, del squared P by del V under bar squared at constant temperature evaluated at TC, PC, VC under bar equals zero. So we have now one, two, three equations we can work with to identify the parameters A and B in terms of this one measurable position for each of our materials. Uh, this greatly simplifies, and we can use this um, as a way to understand uh, the state of the material uh, through the principle of corresponding states. So let's do the first one. So what is the, I like to rewrite this, um, this, Peng, this uh, Van der Waals equation of state um, in a slightly different way, just for the calculations that you can follow along on the video here. V minus B to the minus 1 minus A times V under bar to the, to the minus 2. So then we have del P del V at constant T is equal to zero, which equals to this taking the derivative of these, minus R times TC times VC under bar minus B, all to the minus two, plus two times A times VC under bar, let me make that A clear so it looks like an A, not like a Q, VC under bar to the minus three. So we have this equation now uh, that we can use to simplify. And then what does the second derivative tell us? Um, the next one uh, gives us uh, one more derivative. So we start from this one, take the derivative again. We end up with 2RTC divided by VC under bar minus B to the cubed minus 6A over VC under bar to the fourth um, equals zero. So both of these, uh, we don't need the pressure term, and we're trying to solve with these equations for, again, for A and for B. So we have two equations 
and P, the pressure dropped out uh, by a substitution, and we can derive what A and B are. So that's an exercise that I would like you to do is algebra to rearrange and just show yourself, do a show that uh, derivation because there's many different ones and they're easy to convert into like test problems and other things like that. Um, show that this A equals 9 VC under bar times R times TC all divided by 8. And that B equals VC under bar over 3 and that PC occurs at A over 27 B squared. So here is how you can calculate um, how you can calculate your parameters B <clears throat> and A by measuring the material for where this critical position is, where this transition uh, from single phase to multiple phases, and what temperature that takes place. Again, it's extremely useful for um, for solving these types of equations. Um, but maybe, for instance, um, what happens? So at what is at ZC? What is the critical Z here? So this we talked about this compressibility factor, and we defined the compressibility factor for at PC would be at ZC would be PC VC under bar over R times TC. Um, substituting in for the van der Waals equation of state into this gives us a value of 3 over 8. Please show yourself uh, that that is true. Um, and this is equal to 0.375. So it's a lot better than the ideal gas compressibility factor at this critical temperature, pressure, and volume of 1, but still not quite all the way there. So... We did this derivation right here um, in terms of uh, TC and VC, but sometimes you can't really measure VC easily. What is really easy to measure? Have you ever measure the tire pressure in your car? Um, pressure. Pressure is oftentimes an easier thing to, to measure, and so when you're doing an experiment, VC might be a little bit obscured, but pressure, I mean, pressure is easy to measure. Temperature, that's also easy to measure. So we need to recast, we can recast these equations to measure in, in, T, in T, TC and PC instead of uh, TC and VC. So when you do this, I'm going to actually assign, assign this as an exercise, um, uh, and you'll, you'll see the solution um, later but I want to have that be a problem that you work through and then look up the solution once we uh, provide the written solution. You'll find that A, 27 R squared T squared over 64 PC, and B equals R times TC over 8 PC. Um, similar exact process to what we just did before right here in terms of using uh, TC and VC, but just with a substitution using TC and PC instead. So with, once you have, with TC, uh, VC, uh, and PC, we can use a new form, a new form of the EOS. This becomes very helpful, and I'll show you even later, when we do fugacity calculations, that having an idea of TC, PC, VC helps your ability to write code and also um, solve for vapor, vapor liquid equilibrium, um, which we haven't discussed how you know where you're at yet. We just discussed that we have um, the different uh, phases with this type of material.